Hi, my name is Mike, and my two words are workaholic and inheritor. I was taught from a young age uh, that nothing is given to you and that to get what you want, you must work and work hard for it. And honestly, in and of itself, this isn't a bad thing and actually is an admirable quality in our society. See, a strong work ethic is a good and respectable quality and something that people should strive to have. So I'm not saying that that hard work uh, is bad and you shouldn't work hard at anything. However, my ability to work hard and to achieve whatever I wanted became the center of my life. This applied in pretty much every area, in schoolwork, in sports, in trying to be friends with everybody, and, and most importantly, in my spiritual life. I think this is something that pretty much everyone can relate to in some way. I found that all this effort and hard work that I put into these areas uh, sometimes worked for a while, actually, uh, but ultimately they were hollow efforts. Uh, it, it felt like it was working for a while, and then when I... Uh, didn't get a perfect score when I wasn't the best athlete in the state uh, it started to feel empty like it was uh, there were probably a ton of people who really didn't like me as much as I wanted them to so my efforts and my relationships were hollow uh, and my self-earned sense of righteousness brought me no sure and, and uh, still fulfillment see that all changed though once I met a man once uh, a man named Jesus came into the picture see the way that I looked at it before is that if I do enough good things, uh, if I spend enough time at church, that Jesus would like me enough to let me into heaven. But the truth is, is that the work that I do is imperfect, sinful, and nothing compared to the work that Christ has done. See, the righteousness that you hear Christians talking about is nothing that we've ever earned from our own efforts. Righteousness is a gift that we are given through faith in Jesus and his work on the cross, dying for our sinful work that we try to call good. But this righteousness that we get was not free. See, Jesus, the perfect Son of God, who can produce perfect work, did so on the cross. Which brings me to my second word, which is inheritor. See, when you inherit something, it means that someone else worked for it, and that you are simply getting it. See, all the work had already been done by Jesus. I just simply had to receive the gift that God was extending. So now my outlook on everything is completely different. See, I'm free to work hard in school and in a career and in my relationships knowing that my eternity is secure. Now, I'm not saying that I still don't stress out about those things. I totally do. But I know that ultimately my inheritance is not in the things that I can produce myself, but it is in heaven in the work that Jesus has already done. My name is Mike, and those are my two words.